Although the PS5 had lots of huge announcements during its tech-heavy livestream, one of the facts that left gamers scratching their heads were the console's backwards compatibility capabilities. Compared to the Xbox Series 10 which has promised a multi-generational approach to consoles, initially I myself was so elated for the PlayStation 5, but backward compatibility issue is kind of thing for PlayStation gamers. Unlike Microsoft, backward compatibility was a staple on Xbox One, so of course Microsoft is doubling down on this philosophy with the Xbox Series 10 Sony needs to clarify the backward compatibility situation situation on PS5. During the presentation, Mark Cerny took a deep dive into the specs of the PS5. Among them were the PS5's backwards compatibility, which will be available for most PS4 titles. Judging from the wording here, people have read this to mean that most of the top 100 PS4 titles will be playable on PS5 at launch. The rest? You'll just need to wait and see. That's eerily similar to the Xbox One's program right now, but according to Microsoft, all Xbox One games will be playable on Xbox Series 10 without exception. Microsoft is attempting to build an infrastructure of lifelong Xbox gamers, in an attempt to insensitize Xbox One owners to stick with the brand as they choose their next-gen console. It's a stark difference to the lack of communication coming from the Sony camp. Xbox One backward compatibility is achieved on a software level by emulating the Xbox 360. There's no hardware built in to natively play Xbox 360 games, which is why not all are compatible and, you know, pesky licensing agreements and whatnot. The PS4, likewise, could not natively play PS3 games. It's unclear what type of solution the PlayStation 5 will use. The PS5's architecture was a far cry from that of the PS3, but in an initial interview between Mark Cerny and Wired, it was noted that the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 would have similar architecture, thus making backward compatibility possible. But that's only one way to interpret the wording. You could also read it as Sony only using the top 100 games as a reference point. The company did not explicitly state that all PS4 games won't be playable. The end of the quote, however, where Sony says that it wants to expand backwards compatibility coverage over time, doesn't instill a lot of hope. It's unclear whether Sony intends to expand the library before or after the PlayStation 5's launch. Or? However, there's lots of cool stuff going on under the hood of the PS5. Cerny bigged up the next-gen ray tracing capabilities and incredible 3D audio that will become part of future PS5 games. We'll know more for sure as the PS5 drops more information in future reveals. Sony needs to address this whole backward compatibility a little bit clearer. It's kind of thing that it looks like PS3 games won't be backward compatible at all. We've reached out to Sony to ask for clarification on this and are waiting to hear back. We'll update you when we have more information. So if you're new here please subscribe to this channel and make sure you turn on the notification to get the information very early. Thanks for sticking to the gaming tiger.